Hey everybody, Josh Erdman from Erdy's Pest Control. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how we identify what kind of animals are in your attic without necessarily having to go into the attic all the time. So typically when I show up on a job site and somebody's called and said, I hear something running around in my attic or I hear something scratching in the walls, I'll ask them to tell me what the scratching sound sounds like. And it's always three ways that they tell me. The first is this scratching noise like this. That is almost always mice because that's just the noise they make. The second noise is, oh shit, something's coming through my ceiling or chewing through my wall and it's gonna get me at any moment. It's usually a much heavier bodied animal, such as chipmunks, squirrels, uh, could be raccoons or possums. Uh, we've seen that in attics as well. Um, so very large animal, makes a lot louder noise in the attic. You get that kind of an echoey sound through the ceiling and the drywall. Uh, the third and final one is again, the scratching, but with a squeak and that is always a bat. Bats are the only ones that squeak. Um, so that's the first step is I try to gauge what they're hearing. And so I can start to think, all right, if it's mice, where do mice typically get in? From there, I'm gonna take my inspection outside where I will go around the home and look for entry points, which usually occur at uh, transition to materials. So from brick to siding, brick to soffit, your fascia to soffit, um, anywhere that you have a vent or uh, piping coming out of the home where your AC coolant line runs into the home is a big one. Uh, and the reason for that is when they install those, those devices, uh, they silicone them. And sometimes they don't use a real good grade silicone. And eventually with the hot and the cold here in Wisconsin, it expands and contracts and eventually dries out and falls off leaving a, a slight opening. So um, we always check those points. Um, the other thing we do while we're checking these inspection parts or points is to um, look at the size of the entries. So if the entry is rather large and they're hearing something that they're describing to me is, oh crap, there's something in my attic and it's gonna come through at any moment, you know, maybe it is a squirrel. Um, a lot of the times it's not. I would say on average when people have us out, I would say it's probably 90% mice and probably 5% between squirrels and bats or larger animals. So um, if you think you're hearing something in your walls, or you want to learn more, or if you just want a free inspection, you can look us up at erties.com or just give us a call today.